Hi there gorgeous and a very happy frugal Friday to you. If you are new and this is the first video you've seen from me, welcome to you. I make videos like this every Friday focusing on drugstore makeup. I also make videos on Mondays and Wednesdays. So if you'd like to be notified of new videos like this one in the future, please subscribe and thank you in advance if you do. Today I'm duping the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude New Lipstick Line. These were recently released. There are 18 shades total. Each of these lipsticks retails for $25 a pop. So you can see why uh, I was pretty anxious to dupe these out for you. Learned a lot while making this video. I discovered that there are a lot more pink-based nude lipsticks in the drugstore rather than orange-based nude lipsticks. And a good majority of the lipsticks from the Natasha Denona line pull very orange, just so you know that up front. I was only able to dupe 15 out of 18 lipsticks but I will show you the three remaining ones that I was not able to dupe at the end of the video, as well as swatches of all of the lipsticks on my arm so you can get a good idea of the color range that you can find within Natasha Denona's line. Before we get into the video, just to demonstrate to you how good the dupes are that I'm sharing with you here today, I'm wearing a Natasha Denona lipstick on one half of my lips and it's drugstore dupe on the other side of my lips. So can you tell which side is which? It's incredibly difficult. I will reveal which one is which as we get into the video. First shade I have to dupe for you from the Natasha Denona line is Jennifer. This is one of the few pink based nudes that you will find within this line from her. And you can find a drugstore dupe for this shade in Milani's I Am Smart lipstick. Milani's is a bit more matte by comparison to Natasha's more creamy based formula, which you can probably pick up on if you look real closely at these two side by side. Once you get them on your lips, very hard to tell the two apart. Next shade I had to dupe for you is called Yana. This is a beautiful medium brown and you can find a dupe for it from CoverGirl's line with their demi matte lipstick in the shade Trending. You will need to layer the CoverGirl lipstick a couple times to get the same similar kind of payoff that you get with the Natasha Denona lipstick, but once you do that, the results are identical. Next shade I'm duping for you is Susanna. I've been listening to kids music too much Oh, Susanna, who don't you grab for me? <laughs> anyway, you can find a dupe for this shade in Revlon's line with Dare to be Nude. Identical color, pretty similar formula between these two, and <laughs> quite a price savings also. For the shade Beatrice from Natasha's line, you can find a dupe for this from CoverGirl in the shade Caramel Kiss. There is a slight color variation between these two. If you really look at the CoverGirl shade, it's a bit lighter compared to the Natasha Denona shade, but this is the very closest I was able to come when I was going through the drugstore aisles, watching all the samples and testing everything out. And I feel like it's a really close match to where if you were wearing it side by side with the Natasha Denona one, no one would really be able to tell the difference. Next shade I have to dupe for you is Claudia. You can find a dupe for this shade from Maybelline's line in the shade Raw Chocolate. Very similar formula between these two. Again, there is a slight color variation. The Maybelline shade pulls a bit more orange compared to the Natasha Denona lipstick, but it's so subtle that it's hard to detect, especially once you get it onto the lips. The dupe for the shade Sammy can be found in L'Oreal's line with He Thinks He's Macho. Similar consistency between the two, identical color match here, extremely hard to tell the two apart. I was most pleased to find this dupe and I love the L'Oreal lipstick. This is one that I've had for quite a while and I personally really love already. So I was happy to see that I could dupe it with one of the Natasha Denona lipsticks. This next one is a very popular shade that I feel like we are finding all the time in these higher end brands and it seems to be a dupe that I am constantly mentioning so you'll have to excuse how my dupe looks up close because it's been used a lot and that is for the Natasha Denona lipstick in the shade Avril. Its dupe can be found in Maybelline's Touch of Spice. This is what I would consider to be a dusty rose neutral pink one of those excellent neutral shades and that's why the Maybelline shade is so popular. It's why I've duped it across so many different high-end brands and it's very flattering to many different complexions. 
for the shade Judith. I was able to find a dupe for this one from ColourPop's line in the shade Appy. The shade of the ColourPop lipstick is a bit more orange compared to Natasha Denona's version, but the two are so similar both in consistency and color payoff that it's one that I couldn't not share with you because I feel like it's a really close match. This next shade is one that I do not like at all. I was actually surprised to find that I had a dupe in my collection and a majority of the lipsticks that I have are ones that I save specifically for duping videos like this one. They are not shades that I would wear normally because oh, they look horrible. <laughs> But I was really happy to find this one in my collection because it matches the Natasha Denona shade pretty perfectly. And that is for the shade Lyron. You can find a dupe for this from Ardell in the shade Slipped Away. This is a very mustard-based nude. Ugh. <laughs> not good for my complexion, not beautiful on me, but on the right complexion, this one could be extremely beautiful. And you can see that there is no difference between the two shades. One of the colors at the end of the video that I was unable to dupe is even worse than that shade, if you can believe it. And you'll see what I'm talking about. It, ugh. <laughs> it's like the color of baby poop. It's, ugh. This next shade is my personal favorite out of the entire line, and it's the one that I'm wearing in today's video, and that is for the shade Michelle. You can find a dupe for this from Maybelline's line in the shade Nude Embrace. Were you able to guess which side was which when I first asked you in the beginning of the video? Yeah. Really hard to tell these two apart. This is an excellent dupe and I love Maybelline lipsticks. I mean, they are affordable. The formula is very creamy and smooth. They last a long time on the lips. Anytime I can find a Maybelline dupe for a high-end lipstick, I am thrilled. The drugstore dupe that I was able to find for Natasha Denona's Allison is Wet n Wild's Bear It All. Wet n Wild's Bear It All is one of those classic nudes. It's a pinky based neutral that I've duped with so many different high-end brands in the past and there's a reason why. It's because it's got a great formula, the color is equally stunning, it's very flattering to many different complexions, and the price. <laughs> can't even forget to mention the price of this stuff. It's an amazing buy. One of the last lipsticks that I duped from this line is called Natasha, and it's one that I struggled with, and I wasn't really sure if I was going to be able to find a dupe for it, and the dupe that I did find is still a little off in color to me, but once I got them side by side on my lips, I wasn't really able to tell a difference, and so I feel like it's a pretty good dupe to try if you really like this shade from the Natasha Denona line. And that dupe can be found in NYX's line with the shade Sable. And if you look closely, the Natasha shade pulls a bit more pink compared to the NYX shade. So it's not identical to the skeptical eye, but once you get it on the lips, you really cannot tell a difference between these two. And so that's why I wanted to mention it because I feel like it's a really excellent dupe and a beautiful shade for that matter, if you really love the Natasha shade from this line. For the shade Sava, I was able to find a dupe for this one from Flower Beauty's line in the shade Naked Blush. This is a beautiful light pink nude, and in terms of formula and color, this is an exact match to the Natasha Denona lipstick. And if you've not tried the Flower Beauty lipsticks, they are excellent. The formula is very creamy. The color payoff is gorgeous. And you would not be disappointed in this purchasing decision. For the shade Natty, this is a gorgeous deep brown. And I will just tell you, there are not many deep brown shades to be found in the drugstore. I don't know why we're lacking in this area of color because I feel like it's a very necessary color that needs to exist in the drugstore, but dark brown shades, at least this shade of dark brown, are extremely hard to find. I was able to find one that matched this lipstick pretty doggone well, and that comes from Rimmel's line in the shade Cray Cray. I personally liked the Rimmel lipstick a little bit better. It has an extremely creamy, almost lip balm-like feeling on application, and it's very soft on the lips. And you can see, no real difference between these two in terms of color match. It's pretty identical. Now this next shade is one that I was not able to find an exact match for, but I got pretty close. I tell you, some of these were really, really hard to dupe, but I wanted to share it with you in case you're looking for a color like this. 
you can get something similar in the drugstore. That's for the shade Noah. You can find an almost, almost dupe for it from the L'Oreal Infallible Paints Matte line in the shade Tongue Tied. If you don't mind that this is not in a bullet form, quality that you get from these L'Oreal lipsticks is outstanding. They are matte on application, beautiful finish, excellent color payoff with these. And you can see the difference between these two, but you can also see the similarities that exist between them also. And that's why I wanted to mention it because I felt like I got really, really close, but still not 100%, but I digress. The last three shades that I was not able to dupe at all from this line and I'll show you up close what they look like so you can get a good idea of the colors and you can probably see why they were so hard to dupe are the shades Naya. This is a very rich medium brown red based gorgeous color and one that I thought was going to be really easy to dupe. Nope it's not and it's a very unique color. I will give Natasha Denona that. The other one, this is the one I talked about earlier, is the shade Charlotte. And this is that ugh, really ugh, yellow mustard. It's uh, This is the one that I dropped and I accidentally ruined it. But yeah, you can see why that one is extremely hard to dupe. There is nothing in the drugstore that looks even remotely close to that. And <sighs> yeah, that's an interesting shade. The last one that I was not able to dupe from this line is called La La. And again, this is a really deep dark brown. This one is very cool toned. It actually leans a little bit more purple on me. And this is one of those that would be stunning on those of you with dark skin. I mean, it's it's one of those rare colors that you cannot find in the drugstore that is worth purchasing. So if you like that shade, definitely go for it. And since I bought every single shade from this line, yes, I bought it me. <laughs> I wanted to show you what all of them look like swatched side by side on my arm so you can get a good idea of the color range that exists here and all of the different shades that are offered in this new nude line from Natasha Denona. It goes without saying that most of us like to save money, right? And most of us like a really good dupe yours truly included. But if you were going to ask me if the Natasha Denona lipsticks were worth getting, I'm gonna have to be honest with you and say yes, they are. From a quality standpoint, they are excellent. A very creamy finish, powerful pigment with these lipsticks, which you probably were able to pick up on in some of the swatches that I shared. And what's interesting about her packaging is it's very unique to anything else that I've ever seen before, and I'll show you what I mean. It's magnetic, so when you take the cap off, and you go to put it back on, I'm barely touching it, it just clamps right back together, which is really cool. The only negative thing is, like you saw with that one lipstick called Charlotte, these are incredibly soft, so they're very delicate, and the slightest wrong move with a fingernail or dropping them, God forbid, like I did, will ruin the shape of the bullet because they are such a soft, creamy formula. Anyway. Really enjoyed making this video for you. Let me know what you thought about it. If there are other dupes that you would like to see me do from other high-end brands, feel free to leave your requests below. Would love to take those into consideration for you. And for reference, so you don't have to go back and replay the video through all the way, I'll have all the lipsticks that I shared with you today listed below in the description box. Thank you for being here, for taking the time to watch, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. I wish you a beautiful weekend ahead.